Welcome to Wine and Bible Stories with me, Jessica Hazley. Tonight we are enjoying Wild Horse. This is a 2009 Chardonnay. Very delicious. I highly recommend it. It's got some nice fruity, light floral notes. It's just, this is a good wine. Okay, tonight <laughs> we're talking about Sarah and Hagar. It's gonna be a really short one. Pretty simple, pretty easy to tell story with a lot of complicated things going on. Let me tell you. So, now to start with, God had told Abraham already that he was going to have a son by his family. But apparently Sarah, his wife, um, got a little impatient with this. She's like, you know, I can't, you know, I, I'm not, I haven't bore a son to my husband, Abraham. I need to start making some stuff happen here. And so she says to Abraham, hey, um, listen, why don't we have my slave, Hagar, sleep with you so that I can have a family, a son, through her? And Abraham is like, okay. He's <laughs> like, sure. Why not? <laughs> So, Abraham and Hagar, uh, do that thing that makes children happen. <laughs> they sleep together. And Hagar becomes pregnant. Well, so Hagar is just upset. She's upset at Sarah for, because she's pregnant. And it's not very explicit about why, it just says that she's upset because she's pregnant, so figure that out on your own. <laughs> then Sarah, <laughs> then Sarah is like, says to Abraham, she's like, dude, so Hagar is upset that she's pregnant and it's your fault. Let God judge between us, dude. because women be crazy. <laughs> so, Abraham's like, listen, do whatever you think is best with your slave Hagar, whatever. Just figure it out on your own. And so then Sarah mistreats her. She's like really harsh with her. That's all it says. It doesn't say what she does, whatever. It just says that she speaks harshly to her, mistreats her, whatever version you're reading it in. She's mean to Hagar. And so much so that Hagar leaves. And so Hagar leaves, and an angel of the Lord finds her by a spring. And the angel says, listen, uh, what... What are you doing? Why? Where did you come from and where are you going? Where did you come from and where are you going? Pretty profound. You should think about that. Let's take a moment to think about that. So, hey guys, it's like. I fled from my mistress, and the angel's like, listen, this is the way it's going to be. You got to go back. You go back, and you do what she says, and that is 
that's what you're supposed to do because you're a slave. It's just how it is. And then the angel of the Lord said to her, Listen, you're going to bore a child who will be a great nation. It's going to be a abundance of great as in like many more so than actually great. Um, you're going to have a lot of descendants and but this is the deal with that situation. <laughs> Dude's name is going to be Ishmael which means wild donkey <laughs> wild horse wine um Ishmael is going to be like against everybody and everybody's going to be against him and but there's going to be a lot of them so you know take that what it what it's worth for what it's worth So Hagar goes back to um, the craziness of Sarah and Abraham, <laughs> and um, and she 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 bears this child, and Abraham does, in fact, name him Ishmael, and that is you know in short the story of Sarah and Abraham, and it's really. You know, if you want to know more, you got to read more, or wait for another Bible stories where I tell more. This is a really short one tonight. This is really good wine, and I want to drink it. So, stay tuned next week when I tell more exciting stories from the Bible with wine. You know, it's like a wine. It's like a Bible wine pairing. Cheers! <laughs>